Good afternoon. Welcome to number, this is number 423, episode 423. I think it sounds a good enough thing to call it. Um, the title today is Broken Agreements, The Silent Killer. <laughs> I hope the title gets your attention because it may not be as blatant and or as exciting as that, but it'll be very useful if you listen to the broadcast. So, welcome to my daily broadcast. My name is Barry Selby. Um, I'm a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine and I help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And every day I do these talks called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And today's topic, today's broadcast is number 423, because I do these every day, so that's every, well every year's worth now. And the topic today is actually um, inspired from experiences recently, but it's going to cover quite a gamut of things because I'm realizing as I wrote this title out a few minutes ago, that there's more to it just the piece I'm going to start with. So there's going to be some flavors. So thank you for all the thumbs up. Thanks for joining me. If you're watching this on Facebook Live, it's where originally it was broadcast. Any comments and questions you ask during the broadcast, I can answer directly. If you're watching the replay afterwards or watching it on YouTube, I can respond to comments you put in below. And if you're watching this, listen, watching, listening to this on my podcast later on, then enjoy. <laughs> so, first of all, I'm literally saying that broken agreements are the silent killer because they tend to kill everything from trust, love, intimacy, friendship, security, belief, and more. So I'll get to those in a second. And what I mean by broken agreements is going to be quite a gamut too, because I realize, as again, as I said, as I realized when I wrote this down, there's more to this. It's not just the things you don't do that you said you're going to do. And I get to that in more detail, especially about things we say and we don't follow through on. But also such things in the dating arena as ghosting, submarining, and boomeranging, which are three terms I've discovered, one, two or three terms I discovered recently. I did a Facebook Live about that about, um, about a month ago, I think. Because I'd read these things going, what the hell is boomeranging and what the hell is submarining? So I had to explain the three so you understood the difference. But the thing is, the actions of those, which are basically where you break off communication, is kind of the commonality of all three. When you break off communication, you are breaking an agreement. Because there's an assumption, yes, it's that dirty word, an assumption, when you're connected with somebody in relationship or friendship, that you're gonna keep communicating. And if you don't, that's an unspoken broken agreement. So that's one of these. But let me get into the more um, blatant, overt, and often happen type agreements. When you say something but don't do what you say, or when you promise something but don't deliver. Those are kind of the blatant ones. And these can be very subtle at the same time as being very obvious. Something could be, well, I'm, get, I'm going to call you at 5 o'clock and you forget to call me to the next day. That's pretty blatant. But if you do something where there's a communication saying that I'll take care of something for you, and there's perhaps an expectation of being done within a certain time frame and you don't do that, that's a le less obvious one, a more subtle one. But the same thing is still true, which is the broken agreement kills off trust, connection, intimacy, openness, all these different things. And if you watch my broadcast and you're someone who's looking for help in the area of relationships, I know that for you, these sort of things like trust, connection, intimacy, belief and everything else, thank you Lisa, I appreciate it being proud of me, thank you. Um, get back on track, it's so easy to get distracted. <laughs> that if you're looking for a relationship or you're in a relationship, what you definitely would want, I would presume, is intimacy, trust, connection, um, reliance, understanding, all these different things that agreement keeping provides. But if you break those agreements, all of those things get shattered, basically, killing them off. That's why I say it's the killer. And the thing about it is that we don't know we're doing it half the time. So many people I know will break an agreement without even realizing it and have to be reminded about it several times. And people who I have, I have in the past held in high esteem. And so when that happens, I realize that my trust in them disappears. So the idea of having faith in what they're doing and having respect for them also decreases. So here's the thing. There are some prices you pay when you don't keep your agreements. And it can be things where you don't make the agreement that you were supposed to make. So this is this issue going on. What can happen is that you're um, I think it's not the right word I'm looking for. That you're 
the, the, I'm doing it the other way around. If someone's respecting you is going to go down if you are not keeping your agreements. Such things as talking to each other and having connection and intimacy that I mentioned are going to go out the window. Your ability to be relied upon will disappear, so you won't be counted on. You may not be included in certain things that are important. In fact, you'll probably be left out of social gathering connections that are important because you're going to be um, your reputation of keeping agreements won't be there. It'll be gone. And so it's not just in intimate relationships. This happens in social relationships and especially in business relationships where you may wonder why you've been passed over for a promotion or why you don't get the contract or why you don't get renewed in this job that you're going to do. It's because perhaps you didn't keep your agreements in your work. So it's a killer. If nothing else, it can kill your bank account. But it can certainly kill the connection and intimacy that you want in a real relationship. So, yes, you may take your agreement keeping seriously when it comes to money with your boss and your business, but you keep the same level of respect and accountability with your partner in a relationship. Unfortunately, quite a few people don't. And this simple thing can put things back on track. So let me give you some guidance rather than just going to the complaining part. So you think you've got my, I think I've made it clear enough by now. If you keep your agreements, meaning that, first of all, you track the agreements you keep, so making less of them might help. You also, um, if you have a challenge with one, for example, if you're promising to meet somebody at a certain time and you're stuck in traffic, call them, text them. These things called cell phones help a lot now with keeping your agreements, re or should say re, um, renegotiating your agreements. So, it's going to sound so crazy. But the number of times I've seen people complain about their friend not reaching, not, not letting them know they're running late, when they could have just simply texted them or called them. Most people's cell phones work, and most people will respond to a text or a message. So if you are, and reason this is an example, but if you are going to break an agreement, like you're not going to show up in time, or you can't deliver what they wanted, or you can't bring what was promised, whatever that was, and you know ahead of time you can't do it, be willing and vulnerable enough to actually communicate that you can't do it. It may sound scary to do that. You might go, no, no, I don't want to do that because if I do, they're not like me. I can guarantee you, if you don't let them know ahead of time and you just let that agreement fall apart and break, they're going to like you a lot less than if you actually communicate ahead of time and saying, I can't make it, or I'm running late, or I'll be there an hour late, whatever that is. So having that understanding of your agreements and keeping the agreements as a um, high priority, and I mean this, high priority, it's going to raise the quality of our relationships around you, both romantically, business, social, all those agreements. Now, here's a feature you want to be aware of. All the stuff I'm talking about, greater intimacy, connection, trust, understanding, acceptance, they're not just for the other people. This is the secret, the secret weapon, the secret tool, the secret surprise. By doing things like keeping your agreements, your own level of trust in yourself, connection to yourself, faith in yourself, understanding of yourself, respect for yourself, approval of yourself, all these different things, and confidence as well, will go up the more you keep your agreements. So really, <laughs> it ain't about the other person or the other people, it's about you. So keeping agreements, which sounds so mundane and so simple, is a vital, powerful tool to raise your own self-esteem, self-approval, self-confidence, self-trust, self-faith, self-respect, all these different things. As much as they, as they raise the quality in other people, they absolutely raise the quality inside yourself. And so keeping agreements, and keeping agreements with everything you commit to, and, it's, and this is gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take another track in a minute, so bear with me. So especially in relationships I mentioned, business, romantic, social, all those different qualities, keeping agreements is vital. Keeping agreements with yourself is one of the most potent and most, um, well, let's put it this way, most easily accessible tool to change your life. There, try that one on. Agreement keeping is overlooked by so many, but if you just implement a system, or implement an agreement keeping, or implement a calendar, implement reminders, implement something where you can document, write down, and track the agreements you make with yourself, for example, when the alarm goes off. So you're gonna hit the snooze bar only twice instead of four times just an idea. Or um, you said you're going to not drink coffee first thing in the morning. Keep that agreement. Or you're going to meditate for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or whatever it is you're doing. 
or you're going to go exercise in the morning before you work out, or you're going to go exercise when you come home. Whatever it is that is an agreement you set up with yourself that you fail to give or fail to keep, like resolutions, for example. I know this is not New Year's, this is only July. But as a reminder, resolutions are just big agreements. They're actually annual agreements that people make in January that generally fail by February. If you've got a, a track record of doing that, this practice, this discipline of setting up and keeping the agreements you make will be a game changer for your life. It will actually raise the standard of your life more than you'd ever understand. This one exercise, this one practice, which you can do very easily, I'll give you some ideas in a minute, will absolutely fundamentally change your life, change your relationships, and it will open up your life to a possibility of success, of joy, of approval by yourself and others, and reliance on by others, which is a great key to having relationships of every sort. The most powerful tool, and the easiest tool of any tool out there. That's why it's so potent, that's why breaking agreements is so deadly, but also keeping agreements is so life-affirming. So I'm a big um, proponent of this. So here's a couple of ideas quickly to give you. So I mentioned keeping agreements for yourself, setting up the agreements so you can keep those things going. Choose to make three agreements each day that are doable, accessible, and don't require anybody else. So if you say, for example, tomorrow morning, you set up agreements that are three things. So um, you're gonna say, you're gonna stop at noon and meditate for 10 minutes. You're going to um, go for a walk for at least 15 minutes sometime during the day and you're going to um, skip sugar for one meal <laughs> I'm just picking three out of the air if you can keep the, say those three agreements and again as simple as you want to be but agreements that you say you're gonna do and then you do them do those every day three not those no, right don't do the same agreements but make three agreements every day if you want to do more you can but don't overcomplicate this if you start making agreements and you keep them it's gonna change everything in your life and like I do with the self-love practice, which I talked about before, commit to this for 30 days and just do this every day, commit, do agreement. If you want to do one agreement a day, you can do that. But I think if you do three, it starts putting in your awareness that you're thinking about your agreements during the day. If it's one, it can slip out. But if you do three, it's not too many, not too few. That will be things that you can set up. And again, agreements that you make with yourself that don't require another person to make them happen. The things you can do that are within your power, within your capability, within your zone, and they don't have to be complicated, again, it could be meditation, it could be exercise, it could be food. Those are the three ones that I recommend easily because they're usually within your range of ability. Do those three thing, three, three different agreements every, every day if you want, or the same ones every day. You may say, you know what, I'm gonna meditate every day for 10, 15 minutes <clears throat> at noon every day from now to the end of the end of 30 days. If that's what you wanna do, go for it. But pick three, at least each day, and it can be different every day if you want. Again, it may be easier to do the same every day, frankly, but if you wanna do it, you want one you can. Apply this to your life. Again, 30 days, three agreements every day that you keep, that you can control, you can manage. I can guarantee you, yes, I can guarantee you, you get your money back if it doesn't work. <laughs> I can guarantee you that at the end of the month, your life will be different. And you may be surprised how much difference it is. The relationships you have around you, because what will happen, and this is one of the side effects I'm gonna let you know about ahead of time, what will happen is if you keep those agreements for yourself, you'll tend to start keeping agreements with other people. And this is the piece I didn't, like, um, you don't have to remember this, but it tends to happen so automatically. That standard of keeping agreements with yourself becomes the bar or the, um, the standard that you keep both inwardly and outwardly. And as you keep that agreement with yourself and then with other people, your relationships will change, your experience of your partnerships and friendships will change, your work environment, if you work for somebody else, will change as well. You might even get a raise, who knows? Now that'll be fun. But if you do this every day for 30 days, it will change large areas of your life. And it's one of the simplest things you can do. Now, I highly recommend if you're gonna do this, note them somewhere, write them down, put them in your phone, make, it, make an alarm in your phone for a certain time to do the meditation, for example. Set it up for success. Don't just say it in your head, I think I'll do this and this and this. Don't make them vague. Make it clear, manageable, tangible, measurable and something you can manage and do in your own schedule and your own time track it make note of it if you want to do something at the end of the day you just make a note yourself did you know, check mark did this agreement did this agreement did this one that works as well the truth is doing it externally is good to write it down and make a note that way but the reality is internally is where the shift will happen and the thing is when you start and this is a thing 
when you start keeping your own agreements with yourself, it's like you've started building this trust inside you never knew you had. Now, some people are automatic agreement keepers, and that's a different story, but most people, are, most of us, have got room for improvement in our agreement keeping. And so by raising the standards inside, by changing your own relationship with yourself, because you're keeping agreements you've made, and you're making agreements intentionally to keep them, your self-confidence and your self-trust, as I mentioned, all these different self-qualities, trust, self-approval, self-love, appreciation, self-support, self, all these other self-skills, will all get raised up. It's like raising the standards across the board. And if you do that, your life will be transformed. I think this makes sense. This always makes sense. I mean, it's, it's, this is something I actually learned in this, one of the seminars I took way back in the 80s. And I'm looking back at it now and seeing how vitally prudent that was back then. But I realized recently some things have been happening where this agreement got violated that I realized how much that um, it takes the bottom out of connection. It, it basically destroys it. So I am encouraging you, inviting you. In fact, I'm almost demanding of you that you take this on because it will change your life and I highly recommend this. This is my gift to you. And again, money back guarantee. Um, if you do this every day for 30 days, it will change your life. And again, like the other homework about the self-love, I do invite you, if you want to, to reach out to me if you have any questions. If you start doing it, you want to say, you know, get some feedback. Or if you want to do it for 30 days and let me know at the end how it went, I'll be fascinated to hear how it goes for you. Like I said, I can pretty much guarantee you, with a money-back guarantee, <laughs> I keep joking with that, that this will change your life. But you've got to do it. That's the thing. It's not something that takes care of itself. Do it for yourself. Take it on. Make it happen and see, what, and see the amazement that happens in your life. With that, I think I've given you enough to work with. Explain what the problem is, how to solve it, and what you can get out of this. Yeah, I think that's it. So, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, these are every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Um, usually on Facebook Live, or since they are on Facebook Live, and then usually after that I put them onto my business page on Facebook, where you can watch them in archive form. And that's Barry Selby, the author on Facebook. You can also watch them on YouTube if you're a YouTube viewer. You can follow my channel, which is Barry Selby, and the playlist is Messages from the Masculine, where they're all, all 400 plus are listed out there. And I'm now loading them onto my podcast, which is Messages from the Masculine in the iTunes Store. You can watch, listen to them there, which is great for driving or somewhere where you can't watch but you want to listen to my talks. You can do that there. I'm slowly adding the library up as well. I'm filling the library up over there. If you are someone who's looking for help in the area of love and relationships, if you're feeling like you could use some booster shots, some guidance, some support, some inspiration, and some counsel to get where you want to go in love and a relationship, reach out to me. On my website, which is barrysilver.com, you notice my name's pretty much everything, because I learned that lesson a long time ago. If you click on the left-hand side of the navigation bar, it says, let's chat. Sign up there for a discovery session, my gift to you. That is a free gift. And we can talk. And if there's something that fits in my work that will help you, I'll let you know about it. And at least you can get to talk, and we can figure things out and get you moving forward to where you want to go. That's my gift as well. With that, I think that's it. Any questions, comments on the broadcast, please put them below, and I'll respond when I sign off. And... Try this on. Go for 30 days to see what happens. This will be could be a game changer for you. And I appreciate you watching. I'm Marsha, just join as I'm wrapping up. Um, when I sign up, watch the replay, you might find value in it. I will see you again tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. And uh, yeah, keep your agreements. It will change your life. Bye.